Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Robinson Maroon Basketball. Tonight, for an Apollo Conference ball game, the Newton Eagles have come to town. I'm Jim Kincaid, along with Dwayne Shaw, Ron Wheeler is behind the camera, and we're a part of worldwide sound and video production. And we're coming to you tonight through the courtesy of Triax Cable Vision. Tonight's game brought to you by First Robinson Savings Bank, American Legion in Robinson, Rural King Supply, Cellular One in Robinson, Graves Auto Group, Crawford Memorial Hospital, Hershey Chocolate in Robinson, Marathon Tire, Kemper CPA Group, the Big Buck Building Center, and Worldwide Sound and Video Productions. Well, Cellular One is now located on the east side of the square in Robinson and ready to take care of all your cellular needs. Stop in and sign up on a qualifying plan and you'll get a free phone, free activation, free evenings and weekends for three months, and free Mr. Rescue for three months. Now, you'll also get a $30 gift certificate for Victoria's Secret, and that's at Cellular One at their new location on the east side of the square in Robinson. Some restrictions do apply to this special offer. So Cellular One on the east side of the square in Robinson. And our thanks to them also for furnishing us with a phone to use during the sporting events and then preparing for the events. And we really appreciate that. The Newton Eagles, Apollo Conference leaders in no uncertain terms here with us tonight. Only and two losses so far this year uh, to uh, T-Town and uh, Louisville North Clay, I think. And, and which they, they you they go ahead. Avenge that. <laughs> Very with decisively. With an exclamation part. Very de decisively. As we, uh, let's see, as we get ready to give starting lineups here, I think probably the high school band will play a national anthem here. Yeah, the Maroons aren't on the floor yet. They, that's right, they haven't. The referees are here. You might introduce those, Mr. Shaw. We've got three pretty good ones tonight. Ed Bryan in the middle. Gary Traub on this side and Bill Book on the far side, I think. Book from Fairfield, Traub from uh, Brownstown, Eddie Bryan from Sumner. Maroons now come out on the floor as we get ready for the uh, national anthem to be played by the Robinson Pep Band. job on the national anthem the Robinson pep band okay for Newton who come in here at 17 and two of those two losses we've talked about coached by Doug McMoser uh, the, the class of the Apollo tournament or conference this year starting one guard Dustin Beerman number 22 a 6 one senior Adam Wolf the other guard number 24 six one senior forwards Matt Meinhardt number 50 a 6 four junior Nate Ernest, number 52, a 6'4", senior. And Jared Jones, the one nobody can stop, number 42, 6'3", senior. He's, uh, he's had things pretty much his own way lately. So they'll go with uh, four seniors and one junior. Manhart, Meinhart, the only underclassman in the lineup at 6'4", 6'4", 6'3", 6'1", 6'1". Robinson will counter with uh, Wade Chimer, one guard spot, number three, and number five, Jeff McKeegan at the other guard spot. Uh, Scheimer, a 5'10 sophomore, McKeegan, a 5'8 sophomore. Forwards, Justin Hartrick, number 33, a 5'11 sophomore, and Mickey Walton tonight, number 42, a 5'10 sophomore. Sean Homer in the middle is always number 44, 6'4 senior. So one senior, four sophomores on the floor, and they'll go at 6'4, 5'11, 5'10, 5'10, and 5'8. Uh, the other meeting against Newton this year, I just looked it up, and it was an 81 43. 
loss to Newton. So the Maroons with something to prove tonight, at least to step up a bit. And I don't see Tyler Devonshire, and I don't know why. Um, in in street in sweats. Oh, there, yeah, okay. And I Looks was just like about the, to remark uh, about that. Chris we, Brooks is in a varsity uniform tonight. Freshman. So it could be one more injury. That's something uh, the Maroons don't need this year. No, they don't. With uh, the problems that they've had, they're uh, they've short enough on manpower the way it is. Well, we'll get ready to tip things off here. The first Robinson Savings Bank's happy to be sponsoring the, tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine, and they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. That's 116 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. We'll gather in the middle now. It'll be Matt Meinhart with Sean Homer as we get ready to tip things off. Mr. Bryan's going to toss the ball in the air. I hope he gets it high enough. And the uh, Eagles come up with the ball. Dustin Beerman with it. He'll be guarded by Wade Scheimer out front. They go on over to the wing to Meinhart. Down inside underneath. There you go. You mentioned Jared Jones Jared earlier. Jones. He starts things off tonight with a bucket. Two on two zone press. Across to Mick Walton. And McKeegan takes it across the timeline. He'll handle it out front. Dustin Beerman guards him. A lot of bodies bumping in there. Newton backs out into a man after they get across the timeline. McKeegan down on the corner. Hartrick with it. Scheimer and into Walton in the corner. Loose ball. Wade Scheimer comes over and picks it up. Homer. Looks for help. Hartrick with the ball gives it to Scheimer. Maroon's trying to work down inside for good shot. Loose ball knocked away. That's going to be Dustin Beerman takes it down all the way and in. Dustin Beerman with a bucket. Four nothing ball game as the Eagles jump out in front here. There's your your zone press again. Down to Scheimer for the, the Maroons for the most part have done a pretty good job against the press this year. They'll get the ball down. Good job by McKeegan as he fakes his man out of the way. Can't get it to fall, but he's there for the rebound. Back up and in. Good hard work on the part of Jeff McKeegan as he gets the bucket. 4-2 game, Eagles by two. Jones, Walton, good job. Steps in front. Got away with one there, didn't he? Jones did. Mick Walton on good defense got it away from Jared Jones. I'm not sure if this is Mick's first start. No, he started the last game we had against Martinsville. Loose ball. Anybody's ball. Picked up and down by Matt Meinhart. Nice, takes it up and nice in. Nice spin. Hartrick double team back to McKeegan. Down to Scheimer. Wade takes it inside, comes back out to McKeegan. He'll go for three. Comes up short. Loose ball, two on one. McKeegan stopped the bucket. Committed the foul, but in this case, pretty good foul. It's going to be Adam Wolf at the line to shoot two. Got the first one. 7-2 the score. The Eagles up by five here. Just underway in Robinson. Apollo Conference ball game. Newton Eagles. He got them both. It's 8-2. They show the pressure again. This time we're going to go the other way. McKeegan takes it through a crowd. Tries to dump off to Homer. He was fouled out front on the floor, though. Destin Beerman. Foul number one and the first team foul. The Maroons will bring it in. 
Hartrick takes it out front. McKeegan has Locked. it blocked. Meinhardt with the ball. Now down to uh, Dustin Bierman. Back out front to Wolf. Inside, Jones on the turnaround. Won't go. Rebound picked off by Nate Ernst. We go back down inside to Adam Wolf. It's 10 2. Homer now Hartrick with it out front. Pass picked off by Dustin Beerman, who just stepped in the passing lane and took it. Inside, nice move. Up and in, Nate Ernst with a basket. Maroons are going to call a timeout at 12-2. All of a sudden, the Eagles have a 10-point lead. Impress all your friends and relatives with your new Aristocrat kitchen cabinets from Big Buck Building Center in Robinson. Big Buck offers free computer design, free estimates, and free in-home measuring. There's no time like the present to get started. You'll have that beautiful kitchen you've always wanted with new Aristocrat kitchen cabinets from Big Buck Building Center at 501 South Howard in Robinson. Let Big Buck design a kitchen for you. And for the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated, 400 East Main in Robinson. Your complete car care center. Well, the Maroons certainly didn't want to get in this position where the Eagles have taken a real quick 10-point lead. No changes in the lineup on that timeout. So when the Maroons come back, and it'll be McKeegan and Scheimer at the guards. This time, the Eagles just set up their defense down floor and two, wait for them. 2 3 zone. Now they come out. Hartrick works with it out front, gets it back to McKeegan. That basically, just kind of a matchup zone, I guess. Yeah. That's uh, They're doing a good job with it. Inside to Homer. Sean back to Scheimer. Wade puts up the three, comes up. Got it, got it. Rolled out over the front of the rim. That ball's got eyes. Make it 15-5 now. Out of the corner. Adam Wolf for three. Beerman picks McKeegan up. Hartrick with it. Inside to Walt. Mick comes back out to Scheimer. Now McKeegan. Jeff will put it up. He's on the line. Got a two out of it. Good shot. 15-7 now. Inside Jones. Jared double teamed Walton. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. The if foul's going to be called. But. Now, if anybody has any the doubt that uh, Mickey Walton's a strong young man. <laughs> you can forget about that. Mix a sophomore. He's only listed at 5'10", but uh, he played fullback on the football team. Kind of letting his hair grow, I think. <laughs> Out of the corner for three. Shot's no good. <laughs> McKeegan will take the rebound. Troy Beerman in the ball game out front now. You'll see him number 20 on the Eagle team. Inside to Walton, but has it knocked away. This is Dustin Beerman with it. Down oh, front, nice. nice play. Didn't get the bucket. The Shot. pass to Meinhardt was a dandy, though. McKeegan works against Beerman. That's Troy. Jeff on the shots, got it. 15-9. The Maroons now have scored uh, seven straight. Jones on the turnaround, won't go. Rebound by Meinhardt, but a foul is going to be called on the floor. Let's see, we're going the other way. Going against Matt Meinhardt. His first and the second team foul. 
Maroons on a little run here. If they can keep it going, we've got two minutes to go in the first quarter. Uh, it was uh, 15 to 3, but now it's 15 to 9. 15 to 2. McKeegan looks for help, gets it back out to Hartrick. Justin takes his man down inside, puts up the 10 footer, won't go. And that's uh, Tyler Lingerfelder, number 30, on the floor for the Eagles. Slipped in on me there. McKeegan has it knocked away. Look out. Dustin Behrman. 17-9 now. That's the first points they'd gotten for a while. We're under a minute and a half here in the first quarter. Hartrick deep in the corner, has to bring it back out front. Drags his pivot foot, call for traveling. Jared Whipke checking into the ball game for the Maroons now. And uh, Sean Homer going out. 116 on the clock. Eagles ball. Let's see what the Maroons set up here. If they're in a zone or a man to man. Adam Wolf out on the wing, now down to Linkefeller. Can't see who's in the corner. There you go. Good ball movement by the Eagles. Shot's no good. Wolf with the rebound. Moves inside. Foul by McKeegan. He'll go to the line to shoot two with 43 seconds on the clock here in the first quarter. Tax filing season again, and the Kemper CPA Group believes that these times of complicated tax regulation and sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA Group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. So put Kemper CPA Group on your team. Kirk Lowry checks in for the Maroons. And we got a white 20-second timeout call. Also, let's remind you that Grill King supplies your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt insulated outerwear, polar by King, by Key rather, a large selection of camouflage clothes, plus northerner boots by service and lacrosse insulated boots. That's all at Grill King Supply on Route 33 east of Robinson. Let's see, the Eagles come back out. That 22nd timeout was called by the Maroons. We're going to have uh, Adam Wolf at the line. And he'll be shooting a pair of them. He'd already shot one, hadn't right. he? Right. 19-9. Eagles now out by 10. Scheimer works at it, brings it across, looks for help. Guarded by Wolf, gets it over to Whipke. That's Lowry. Or Kirk, Kirk Lowry, rather, number 13. Hartrick in the corner. Errant pass inside, picked off by Wolf. Adam takes it down. Good work by Lowry on defense. He's going to be called by the foul, but uh, did a nice job. Not much you can do in a situation like that. Adam got that one. Make it 20 to 9. Got him. Got that one. 21 9. The last four points, all free throws by Adam Wolf. He's six for six, so he can shoot free throws. Lowry's got it across the timeline. We're down to 10. Hartrick in the corner, guarded by Meinhardt. Justin takes it in, looks for some help. Kirk Lowry will go for three. Won't quite go. Not going to make it. Time runs out. We've played one quarter. It's 21-9 Newton Eagles. Graves Auto Group's got a variety of Ford products to choose from, like the Ranger, now with four doors, 
The F-Series, all now with four doors, the Super Duty and 44 different models, the Expedition, the Explorer, and the Windstar, now with dual power doors, and all are now available at Graves Auto Group right here in Robinson. Don't forget the restaurant at the American Legion is open to the public on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner, Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion EM Kohler Post 69 in Robinson. Crawford Memorial Home Care Agency is conducting a blood pressure clinic Tuesday, February 16th at the Newton Senior Citizen Center from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. A registered nurse or a nurse from, uh, or a nurse's aide from Crawford Memorial Home Care Agency will be available to take blood pressures on the third Tuesday of every month. No appointments are necessary and walk-ins are welcome, so for more information, call Crawford Memorial Home Health Care Agency at 546-5461 or toll free at 888-546-5461. Crawford Memorial Healthcare, a tradition of caring. McKeegan on the turnaround, comes up short. Rebound right in the hands of Adam Wolf. Down come the Eagles. Underneath, Jared Jones has it knocked away by Homer. He's gonna be called for a foul, look good from here. He'll shoot two. They make it look so easy from there. They're eight for eight. Eight for eight from the line? Yes. Robinson been to the line? No. No. 23 to nine the score. McKeegan works against Troy Beerman. And Lowry draws a foul. It'll go out of bounds to the Maroons. That's only the, uh, is that just the second team foul? Third. Third team foul. That's Tyler Lingefelder. He ran into a screen set by uh, Hartrick, I think. Kirk will bring it in. McKeegan. To Hartrick. Justin hasn't had a chance to have a good look and a good shot yet. That three won't go. Jared Whipke put it up, had a nice look. Outside, Troy Beer. Dustin gets it over to Wolf and back to Dustin Beer. Uh-oh, in the corner, wide open for three, won't go. Sean Homer with the rebound. I think Keegan O'Hanlon. We saw the third one of those Beerman boys a couple weeks ago when he was playing for Walmart's family, didn't we? Eric. Knocked away. Tyler Linkefelder on the breakaway. Got it. Hartrick for a way long three. Comes up short. He can make them from there. Dustin Beerman, nice pass down to Jared Jones. Has it knocked away, good job, good defense. I think Whipke got his hands in there and Hartrick picked it up. And now what are we going? I got a foul got a call, foul. it'll be Maroon's ball. Adam Wolf fouls first, fourth team foul. Scheimer and Walton check into the game for Hartrick and uh, Lowry. They got some good minutes in. McKeegan will work against Troy Beerman. Walt with it out front. At least he brings Meinhardt out away from the basket when he comes out. McKeegan. Got the shot away, kind of forced it. Rebound comes down to the Eagles, they're down in a hurry. Off the glass and in, Tyler Linkefelder. 27 to nine. Whipke takes it inside, puts up a 15 footer, won't go, but he draws a foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Jared Whipke. 
David Fowler comes in for the Eagles. First Robinson Savings Banks, happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine, and they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. 116 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. Jared got the first one. Jared Whipkin. 6-1 freshman. We saw a lot of him this year on the football team as he quarterbacked the Maroons for the most part of the season. 27 to 11 now. Eagles up. Linkefelder with it. Scheimer on him. Wolf and Whipke draws him. They McKeegan goes over to help and they put it back out to Meinhardt. Now it's Wolf again. Jared Jones. Out of the corner. No good by Linkefelder. We've got a foul called, and that's going to go against the Eagles. That's Wolf, I believe. Adam so Wolf, number two, 16 foul. Let's see, back in the game. No, this is Jeremy Blake for the first time. Number 34 checks in for the Eagles. He'll pick McKeegan up right away. Jeff on the drive. Got the buck. Got the roll. Wolf to Jones. Got away with a step. Wolf outside the arc. Tries to lob one inside. Jared Jones in a crowd. And uh, he draws the foul. Whipkey, I believe. 2 1, yes. His first. Jones. 16 fouls for both teams and, and a bonus after this. Jones is going to shoot two. For the best deal in tire, stop in at Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated, 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. Justin Hartrick comes back in, Whipkey goes out. Nothing but net for Jared Jones. 29-13, Eagles. Four and a half minutes to go here in the first half. McKeegan works against Adam Wall. Wolf gets a hand on it, knocks it out of bounds. Maroons will bring it in. Hartrick to Homer. McKeegan tries to go in against Wolf, looks for help. Back out to Hartrick. Justin, long three. Uh, won't go. Mick Walton went way up for that rebound. Back to McKeegan. Jeff tried to put the shot up. No whistle. Four on one. <laughs> three or four steps involved there. I think everybody kind of got lost out on that as uh, Meinhardt gave the ball back over. Or jo uh, Jared Jones gave the ball back over to Meinhardt. And Meinhardt was fouled as he went up. Never did see the ball hit the ground. Several steps in there. Got a timeout call. And it's going to be a full, I think. Who's, who's timeout? Well, the way he gave the signal, it was almost a TV timeout. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'd give it to Newton because I think they're the one that called it. It's tax filing season again, and the Kemper CPA Group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulation, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA Group um, financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. So put Kemper CPA Group on your team. Don't forget Rural King Supply, Winter Weather Headquarters for Carhartt Insulated Outerwear, Polar, key, Polar King by Key, and a large selection of camouflage clothes, plus Northerner boots by Service and Lacrosse Insulated Boots. That's at Rural King Supply on Route 33 East of Robinson.
Matt Meinhardt at the line. <clears throat> Well, they finally missed one after 10 straight. One only, though. Matt got the second one, 30-13. Scheimer handles it out front, and uh, David Fowler's on him. Stolen, knocked away out of bounds. Oh, Eagles are going to keep it. As the last to touch it was Mr. Hartrick. Meinhardt will bring it in and gives it to Fowler. Kirk Lowry back in the ball game and he draws Fowler to guard all over it. Good job. Jones double teamed and called for traveling. So good defense on the part of the Maroons forced that turnover. Lowry and Scheimer will be at the guards for the Maroons and down front will be Hartrick, Walton and Homer. Scheimer with it. Knocked away by Meinhardt. Look out. Meinhardt fouled on the layup. He'll go shoot two. <clears throat> Justin Hartrick with the foul, number two. Adam Wolf comes back in and David Fowler out for the Eagles. Make it 32-13 now. Scheimer has it swiped by Wolf. Adam on the drive. He'll go shoot too. He may do this only. Graves Auto Group's got a variety of Ford products to choose from, like the Ranger now with four doors, the F Series now, all now with four doors, the Super Duty and 44 different models, the Expedition, the Explorer, the Windstar now with dual power doors, and all are now available at Graves Auto Group right here in Robinson. Maroons have nine team fouls, and eight of them have been shooting fouls. Full court pressure. Lowry takes it down. Lowry on the shot, comes out hard, picked off by Wolf. Here come the Eagles, two on two. Nice job on the drive by Matt Meinhardt. Hartrick with it out front. Man, Meinhardt comes out to guard him. Now it's Lowry, Walton, and Hartrick. Jump ball is going to be called. Possession arrow will give it to Newton, I believe. Two twenty-eight to go in the half. Meinhardt will bring it down. Wolf dumps to Jones. And three seconds. three seconds in the lane. Lowry and Whipke come in. Walt and Scheimer go out for the Maroons. McKeegan. Did I say McKeegan? I got my names mixed up. Jeff McKeegan came in. Hartrick with the ball. And there's Jeff behind the three-point line. He puts up the shot. The rebound comes out long to Adam Wall. Off to the side, Meinhardt again. Yeah. 
Homer back out front to Whipke. Lowry for three. Got it. Kirk Lowry into the dry spell there with that three-pointer, 38-16, with a minute 29 to go here in the first half. Beerman in the middle to Jones. Jared on the turnaround, swish. Newton, what do we figure, has lost only two games this year, North Clay and uh, to St. Anthony. Teotopoulos. Or Teotopoulos. McKeegan for three. Homer with a rebound. Back out to McKeegan. Now Hartrick. Justin for three. That won't go. Rebound picked off by Troy Beerman. Out of the corners, Wolf. Rebound back up and in by Beerman. Dustin Beerman. 42-16, 30 seconds to go and a half. Lowry in the corner. Justin Hartrick for three, won't go. Lid on the basket down there on those three pointers. 14 seconds and I'm sure the Eagles are gonna kill some time here and take one. Dustin Beerman handles it out front, McKeegan's got him. Dustin works inside in the lane, puts up the shot, won't go. We've got a foul called over the back on Jared Jones and Sean Homer. Uh, drew the foul, will they shoot? Yes. Mm -hmm. 1.3 seconds on the clock, so we can pick up a couple here. Tim Gallion checks in for the Maroons for Lowry. And here comes uh, Scheimer back in. Homer will be at the line to shoot a bonus, one and bonus. Won't go. Well, we played a half, 42-16. Newton Eagles have a commanding lead. The restaurant at the American Legion in Robinson's open to the public on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner, Sundays for lunch. That's at the American Legion, EM Kohler Post 69 in Robinson. And don't forget, tonight's ball game is brought to you in part by Hershey Chocolate. They're pleased to support the students of the community in their youth activities. That's Hershey Chocolate in Robinson. Let's see what we got going here. You want to just keep it and do a little bit of this? Yeah, all right. We'll watch a little here while we total up the book and uh, watch the fifth graders spend a little time on the floor. These are the, the future basketball players of the area. Huh? I'll catch another one or two. One thing about it, these kids get up and down the floor, pretty good shape. And they won't be near as sore tomorrow as we would be, Shaw, if we were out there. I'll be sore from going down the stairs. <laughs> Better sign a couple of these up. Well, tonight's ball game is uh, brought to you also by Big Buck Lumber Company and Talking about Big Buck, they've got uh, kitchen cabinets with over 40 styles to choose from, from Aristocrat. They've got what you're looking for at Big Buck Lumber, Lumber Company, and that's the place to go. They have free in-home measuring and personal consultation. Big Buck offers the best of both worlds, a style of your liking and the expertise to help plan your own dream kitchen. So give them a call today at 544-2138 and let Big Buck show you how cabinets become a kitchen. That's Big Buck Building Center in Robinson, helping you do the job for over 70 years. You're on. While we're watching this, I'll just go through the totals. Newton uh, on top, 42-16, scoring 21 in the first quarter and 21 in the second quarter. Have uh, 
One player in double figures already. Adam Wolf with 13, nine points for Matt Meinhardt. Dustin Beerman with six. Tyler Lingerfelder with four. Jared Jones with eight. And two points for Nate Ernest. One three point basket that coming from Adam Wolf. 15 for 16 from the line. Committed seven fouls, two on Adam Wolf, one each on Troy Beerman, Dustin Beerman, Jared Jones, and Matt Meinhardt. Robinson leading score with eight points. Jeff McKeegan, three points for Wade Scheimer. Kirk Lowry with a three and two points for Jared Whipke. Uh, two three point baskets, one by Lowry, one by Scheimer, two for three from the line. Committed nine fouls, two each on Jeff McKeegan and Justin Hartrick. Uh, one on Scheimer, Lowry, Whipke, Walton, and Homer. Rebounding, Newton way up on top, 15 to six. Turnovers, Robinson 12, Newton four. 42 16, halftime. Take away those 15 uh, free throws, and we're back to 27 points. We'll be back with the second half here in just a second. Don't go away. Well, the first Robinson Savings Bank is happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine. And they've been serving Crawford County since 1883, 116 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. Well, we'll see who we they put back on the floor here as we begin the second half. 42-16, it's been all Newton. A lot of free throws for the Eagles in the first half here tonight. And they forced a lot of turnovers for the Maroons while only committing four in the first half themselves. So Newton will put their, I think, original starters back on the floor as we've got Nate Ernst, Matt Meinhart, Adam Wolf, um, let's see, Dustin Bierman, and uh, Matt Meinhart. Jared Jones, don't forget Jared, 42 there in the middle. For the Maroons, Homer, Walton, Hartrick, McKeegan, and Scheimer. They'll have possession as we start the second half, and McKeegan will bring it across. Hartrick with it on the wing as Meinhardt has him. Walton comes out front, brings Nate Ernst with him. McKeegan over on the corner. Hartrick inside, Scheimer now Walton. McKeegan tries to work for a shot, can't get it. Inside, Sean Homer comes up short. Rebound, Adam Wolf. Eagles get it back. Meinhardt drives, doesn't get the roll. Hartrick's got the rebound. And knocked out of bounds by an eagle. Nope. Lost out of bounds. It'll be Eagles ball. Meinhardt will bring it in to Wolf and in the middle to Ernst underneath Jared Jones. Simple as that. Dustin Beerman guards Jeff McKeegan. Now Scheimer. Inside to Mick Walt. On the fadeaway, got it. Nice job by Mick. Ernst with it down in the corner. Lobs one inside, knocked away by Homer. Picked off by McKeegan. So the Maroons take it away and they'll come down. <clears throat> try to cut into this lead a little bit here. Screen by Hartrick, McKeegan couldn't use it. Scheimer with it now. Inside, Jeff again. Hartrick and Walt. Good pass to Scheimer, but knocked away by Adam Wolf. Maroons will keep it. Picked up by Walton, heads up play there by Mick as Meinhardt knocked it away. McKeegan on the shot, won't go. Rebound Jared Jones, down in a hurry. Look out, Adam Wolf, or that's uh, Troy Beerman, or Dustin Beerman. I'll get it right in a minute. 
Dustin Beerman on the breakaway, and he got the bucket. It's two points regardless, isn't it? Scheimer. Walton. Knocked away, stolen. Dustin Beerman again. Dustin on the drive, makes it foul. He'll go to the line. Bucket, I'm sure, will count. Yep, there it is. Mickey Walton with the foul, his second. Well, for the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. <clears throat> Well, Dustin completes the three-point play, and we've got a 49-18 ball game here. Eagles well in control. McKeegan. Walton keeps it, looks inside, looks for help, gets it over to Hartrick. Stewart Shutty, number 15, slipped in the ball game there on that free throw a minute ago for the Maroons. Jared Jones takes it down. McKeegan picks him up. Inside Ernst on the turnaround. He's got it. Nate Ernst. McKeegan tries to drive inside. Got the shot, good. Jeff McKeegan scores from 15. Looks like we're going to get a new lineup for the Eagles here as uh, several of them are checking in, scorer's bench. Bearman on the drive, knocked away by McKeegan, but he'll get called for the foul. Number three on Jeff McKeegan. There's four or five down there getting ready to check in mm -hmm. for Newton, so we'll get a new lineup here in a minute. Dustin Beerman makes his first one. Here comes four. 40. So Jeremy Blake, one of them that checks back in. Matt Burkbauer. Uh, Burkbauer, that's his first time in. Hellrigel is his first time in. Lingenfelder. And Lingenfelder's back. And we got somebody here for Beerman, and that's uh, David Fowler. David Fowler was in, uh, played some second quarter for the Eagles. So they they have a new lineup in there. A timeout called, a 20 by Robinson. Tax filing season again. The Kipper CPA Group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulations, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA Group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. So put Kemper CPA Group on your team. Let's see, Homer back in. Shuddy and Walton. McKeegan and Hartrick on the floor for the Maroons. Lincofelder will pick McKeegan up. And uh, Blake out on Hartrick. McKeegan will go for three, comes up short, rebound in the hands of Fowler. Down in a hurry, look out, Lincofelder uh, is fouled by McKeegan. So Lincofelder will shoot two, and Wade Scheimer gets ready to check back in for the Maroons. Two quick fouls on Jeff McKeegan, gives him four. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Tyler Linkefeller at the line. There's one. Scheimer and Whipke both check back into the game for Hartrick and McKeegan for the Maroons. Uh, let's see. No, Hartrick comes back in and Stuart Shetty comes out. A rare miss. Let's 
see how they call the foul. Walton had it almost had it uh, taken away from him by um, Fowler, but Fowler fouled Fowler fouled him in the process. So Maroons will have it back. They'll bring it down. Newton, 19 for 21 from the line. They've done about everything right. Whipke with it out to Walt, down in the corner to Hartrick. Justin. Time had the five count on him and the shot won't go. So the turnover gives it back to the Eagles. 54 to 20 is the score. The Eagles on top. Fowler with the ball, Scheimer guards it. Down in the corner to Blake and back out front to Linkefelder. Fowler, Linkefelder will try three. Doesn't get it. Good position on the part of uh, Whipke and uh, Homer, however. Nope. Jeremy Blake with Blake, the foul. Good. Second team foul for Newton. Homer and Whipke had position, and uh, that's what happens when you do good positioning and boxing out. If anybody else gets to that ball, they got to foul you to get there. Let's see. Tim Gay and Chris Brooks. I got to go to the second sheet. Brooks with the ball. He drives, won't go, but the foul is going to be called on uh, Shannon Hellregel, I believe, number 40. That's what he did. And Brooks will be at the line to shoot two. Comes out a little hard. Well, let's see, the Maroons with, uh, what well, we got, three freshmen on the floor and a couple of sophomores. Shuddy's a sophomore, Scheimer and Gallion all sophomores, so two freshmen. Hell regular with another foul over the back. Fourth team foul for Newton. Ball comes into Brooks. Scheimer has it back. Lowry, got it. Good work by Kirk Lowry. Full court pressure now. Lakefeller with the ball out front as uh, Lowry gets on him. Jared has uh, Blake. Lowry almost got the steal. <laughs> Want to call that, Shaw? What happened? Foul against Newton. I didn't see it. Matt what? Bergbauer. Away from the ball. Yeah. Gallion will bring it in, and Lowry mm -hmm. will bring it down for the Maroons. <laughs> Lowry has to take it back outside, looks for help. Goes into Gallion, has it knocked away by Hellregel. Eagles come back with it. Nice pass. Foul, count the bucket. <laughs> Can't win. Burke Bauer will go at the line. He got the basket. And Jared Whipke, I think, called for the foul. 56-22. We'd like to remind you the Real King Supply is your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt insulated outerwear, Polar King by Key, a large selection of camouflage clothes, Plus, Northerner boots by service and lacrosse insulated boots, all at Real King Supply, Route 33 east of Robinson. Lowry, nice pass inside to Scheimer, and Scheimer's foul. 
Bergbauer again, I believe. 44. Foul number two, six team foul for Newton. Lowry for three, got it. Kirk Lowry, that'll help. 56-25. Oh, uh, Mimoser may be slipping these uh, starters back in here in a minute. Linkefeller down all the way and in. Now that that stays, keeps up. Zach Steele getting ready to check in for the Maroons. From out front, Kirk's shot's no good. Down is Fowler. Nice defense by Whipke as he knocks it away. Eagles will keep it. Steele comes into the ball game for Lowry for the uh, Maroons. Out of the corner for three was Blake, no good. Zach Steele with the ball out front, guarded by Fallon. Zach needs a little help here. Gallion with it. Picked off by the Eagles. Nice pass down underneath to Hellregel. Shannon scores. Steele with the ball. And he's got the shot. Worked the baseline good and got the short jumper. Look out. Bergbauer. Got his own rebound. Foul is on the floor before he was able to put the shot back up, so the Eagles will take it out of bounds. Twenty-five foul. seconds to go here in the foul quarter. number three on Jared Whipke in the fifteen foul. <laughs> Fowler guarded by Steele. We're at fifteen seconds. Eagles will work for the last shot. We're under ten. Fowler. Works the lane, back out. That's Blake, in and out. Foul on the, uh, <laughs> oh well. Missed a shot, but he'll get three more attempts. Foul will go against Tim Gallion. One second on the clock. Graves Auto Group has got a variety of Ford products to choose from, like the Ranger now with four doors, the F-Series all now with four doors, the Super Duty and 44 different models, the Expedition, the Explorer, the Windstar, all now with dual power doors, and all are now available at Graves Auto Group in Robinson. How many is he shot, Shaw? Who? This guy? Yeah, is that his second one or third or fourth? Yeah, this is his second. Oh, okay. How many more does he get? He gets this one. Did he make them all? He made all three. Oh, geez, son of a gun. 63-27. It'll good. It's good if it goes, but it won't. 63-27 at the end of three. The restaurant at the American Legion in Robinson's open to the public on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner, Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion EM Kohler Post 69 in Robinson. Tonight's ball game is brought to you in part by Hershey Chocolate and the Robinson Plant, where they manufacture Heath Milk Duds, Six of Paydays, and Whopper Candies. Hershey Chocolate right here in Robinson. Can't beat that. Hershey Chocolate. Crawford Memorial Home, Home. let me get this straight. Crawford Memorial Home Care Agency is conducting a foot clinic Tuesday, February 23rd at the Robinson Senior Citizen Center from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. A registered nurse from Crawford Memorial Home Care Agency will trim and file toenails, apply lotion, and assess feet for any abnormalities. The registered nurse will also instruct each client on proper foot care. There is a $15 fee. So to set up an appointment for the foot clinic, call the Robinson Senior Citizen Center before the clinic on February 23rd, 618-544-8811. Crawford Memorial Home Health Agency, a tradition of caring. Well, Maroons will have, no, Newton Eagles will have it as we start the final stanza here. Stuart Shuddy guards the inbounds pass. That was Jeremy Zimbalem, number 54, that uh, hit the floor. 
And we're back at the line to shoot more free throws as we start the fourth quarter. We played five seconds and we're going to shoot two. Well, they'll, they'll have about half their points off free throws tonight, won't they? Good portion. Keep this up. The worst thing about it is the clock ain't running. We're 22 for 25, 26 now. That's Graham Wagner, number 10, on McKeegan out there. Walton down in the corner to McKeegan. Wagner's got him. Jeff takes it to the lane. Got a, no, he didn't. I was going to say he got away with the step, but uh, Eagle Eye Tribe caught him. 64-27 the score. Newton out in front. Shuddy guards on the inbound play. That's Fowler with it. Zimbalem. McKeegan picks up the loose ball. McWalt on the rebound. Won't go. McKeegan fouls Hellregel, and we're back to the line. And McKeegan's gone. That's five. Let's see. Jared Whipke's going to come back into the game, probably for McKeegan. Stuart Shetty comes out. And uh, Scheimer. McKeegan goes out with 10 points. Worked pretty hard. No regular off the line. <clears throat> he hasn't been there yet. Well, he's been there now, and he's got one. Hellregel is a senior. List him at 6'2". Hartrick with the ball comes down to Scheimer. Underneath, Whipke the turnaround. Jared's got it. Wagner works against Hartrick. Zimbalem, 4 2. Yeah, Bergbauer. Huh? Bergbauer. Oh, I'm sorry, it is. And that's 44. I only saw one four. Off Maroon, and it'll be Eagle Ball. Good pressure by the Maroons as they bring it in. That's Fowler with the ball. Blake in the corner to Hellregel. We go around the horn again. Pass inside to Hellregel goes off his uh, hands, and it'll be Maroon Ball. Scheimer will bring it in to Hartrick. Hartrick drives, shot's no good, loose ball, Scheimer's got it, won't go. Still grabbed out of there finally by uh, Wagner. He gets it down in a hurry for the Eagles. 15-footer comes up short. Rebound, Wagner comes out of there with it. That's good hustle for Graham Wagner. Mickey Walton with the foul. This will be hell regular at the line again. <clears throat> well, the first Robinson Savings Bank's happy to be sponsoring tonight's ball game. They've got locations in Robinson, Oblong, and Palestine to serve you, and they've been serving Crawford County since 1883. 
116 years of meeting the financial needs of our area. And uh, Taylor Reich came in as uh, Hellregal sank the second free throw, make it 70-29 here, 5.40 to go in the ball game. Justin Hartrick into the lane, puts up the 15-footer. Got it. Hartrick sinks it. Is that here first point first of the basket. night? Justin been awful quiet tonight. There goes Bergbauer. Reich with it. Now Graham, or uh, Wagner rather. And Sean Homer comes up with the air at pass and gives it to Hartrick. Maroons will have it for a little bit here. Justin Hartrick comes up short. Six hands on the floor. Guess who Jump comes ball. out of there? <laughs> Walton gets his hands on it. The ball's going to him one way or the other. Holler fumbled, and he'll clear a path for you. Maroon possession <laughs> on the arrow. Now who's in Zimbalan? Oh, good. Jeremy Zimbalan. I've had him in there three times tonight. And this is actually the first, isn't it? I think it is. I got him. Ooh, and he, well, he wasn't there long What he didn't get called for a foul. But that's one way to get your name marked. One and one for Mickey Walton. For the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main and Robinson, your complete car care center. Walton's got one. Short on the second. Blake has a rebound for the Eagles, and they come down with it. Wagner works the ball out front. Blake. Zimbalem. Nice pass inside, but they come back out to Blake with the, with the shot. He makes the three. Jeremy Blake. Inside to Sean Homer. Sean's foul. So he'll go to the line and shoot a pair of them here. Number three on Matt Bergbauer. In and out and out. Well, let's see, into the Robinson lineup comes uh, Lowry, Brooks, and Shuddy again. And for the Eagles, um, let's see, Hellregal checked back in. Seventy-three, thirty-three. Reich with the ball, out front, Brooks has him. Oh, Lowry almost got it away from him. He tied him up, called for a jump ball. The possession will be with uh, Newton as, um, let's see, who come in? Steele and uh, uh, Gallion, Gallion, Lowry, Chevy. Now Brooks is in, but did he just come in, did he? Maybe just one. Well, the turnover will give it to the Maroons. 3.55 on the clock here in the fourth quarter. Brooks on the turnaround, won't go. Rebounds pulled down by Newton's right. And that's Wagner with the ball now. Lowry would like to take it away from him, not quite. Tim Gallion. And the jump ball is called as uh, Zimbalem went inside. And I'm not too sure, but what Shuddy didn't get him tied up. It'll be Robinson ball anyway. 
and uh, Matt Bergbauer checks back in the ball game, number 44. Lost out of bounds. Who gets to keep it? Maroon's ball is off of uh, Bergbauer's foot. Ball comes in to Lowry. He tried to put up the shot and was fouled. So that'll be a two shot foul coming up for him, 315 to go. It's tax filing season again, and the Kemper CPA group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulations and sound, finan uh, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. So put Kemper CPA group in uh, on your team. Wagner will take it across the line, guarded by Sh or, uh, Lowry. In the lane, short jumper, won't go. Hey. Oh. Who'd you give that to? Burke Bauer? Burke Bauer, yeah, he got his own rebound and took another shot From while the falling floor. down. 75-33, 2.40 to go here in the game. Baseline work by Oh, oh, offensive. an offensive cha uh, charge against Gallion. Mm. Tim, Tim can't get anything to go right for it. <laughs> Lowry all over Wagner. Wagner, though, takes it down. Short jump shot. Got it. Coast to coast goes Graham Wagner. Gets the bucket. 77-33. Under two and a half minutes to go in the game. Brooks will go for three. Comes out a long rebound. Hellregel with it. Look out. Zimbalem. Drive to the basket by Lowry. Lowry, and he did a good job. Didn't get the shot. Knocked away. Look out. Zach Steele took it down all the way and was fouled on the shot. Zach will go to the line. Seventy nine thirty three. Won't go. Rebound pulled down by Bergbauer. Eagles take it down in a hurry. Wagner with it. Back over in the middle to Zimbalem. Wide open. And he missed, he missed the layup. Couldn't not have been any cleaner than that for Zimbalem on the way to the basket. Maybe it was just too big. The turnaround shot is uh, blocked. And uh, I, who is that? Is that Mescom? Hmm? Or uh, no, I can't see the number. Lowry. That's Lowry. It's 1 3. Okay. Kirk. Got one. 
one more, put him in double figures. There it is. Nice night for the young freshman. Burke Bauer, shot won't go, gets uh, rebound Zimbalum and off the glass and in Jeremy Zimbalum. 81-35, we're at about 35 seconds. Good drive, oh, nice tip back up by Zach Steele. He uh, followed his shot in on the missed shot, put it right back up on the rebound, scored that time. Good work by Zach Steele. There's a three. You got it. Jeremy Blake. 84-37, we're under 10. Zach Steele will work it out front. Somebody will hold it into Lowry. Lowry puts a shot up and in. And that's gonna do it. Kirk Lowry with the last bucket. 84-39 is gonna be the final. Well, while Shaw totals, I'll talk about taxes. It's tax filing season again, and the Kemper CPA Group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulations, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA Group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. Put Kemper CPA Group on your team. Also, don't forget Real King Supplies, your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt insulated outerwear, Polar King by Key, a large selection of camouflage clothes, plus Northerner boots by service and lacrosse insulated boots. That's at Real King Supply on Route 33 east of Robinson. The Graves Auto Group here in Robinson has a variety of Ford products to choose from, like the Ranger, now with four doors, the F-Series, all now with four doors, the Super Duty in 44 different models, the Expedition, the Explorer, and the Windstar, now with dual power doors, and they're all now available at the Graves Auto Group in Robinson. Well, tonight's ball game has been brought to you in part by Hershey Chocolate. They're a part of Crawford County, always pleased to support the students of the community in their youth activities. That's Hershey Chocolate right here in Robinson. Well, the Maroons were pretty well outmanned and outgunned tonight as they lost uh, by a pretty good margin at 84-39. That uh, Apollo Conference um, loss will put them at uh, four and 16. Newton still only with two losses on the season as we get a little bit closer to regional play all the time. The uh, Newton Eagles will be going down to Flora in that regional and that'll probably be one of the toughest regionals in the area as uh, St. Anthony, T-Town, Flora, Newton will all be down there, uh, Stu Straws, to compete in that um, Flora Regional. Soon to have, soon to have the totals, you hear that, Sean? <laughs> soon to have the totals well, here I'd, after this one. I'd kind of like and, for them uh, to be right. Well, I want you to have them right. I mean, uh, your fingers can only do count so far. Let's see, next week, Tuesday night, we'll be um, in Robinson for Charleston game. The next, uh, no, we won't. We'll be in, what is tonight, Tuesday? We'll be Friday night. We'll be in Palestine. Then next Tuesday uh, in Robinson for Charleston game and then travel to Effingham. Uh, we'll be out at Lincoln Trail again on uh, Saturday this week. And uh, full slate, uh, of games this week and next week before the regional. Totals, Newton 84-39 on top. They were about as consistent as you can be with 21 points in the first quarter, 21 points in the second quarter, 21 points in the third quarter, and 21 points in the fourth quarter. You're kidding. <clears throat> the two guards, uh, Dustin Behrman and Adam Wolf, both uh, tied with the lead to 13 each. Seven points for Tyler Lingefeller, nine points for Jeremy Blake. Uh, Shannon Hellrego with six, Jared Jones with ten, six points for Matt Bergbauer, Matt Meinhart with nine, Nate Ernest with eight, five points for Jeremy Zimbalan, 26 for 30 from the line, three three-point baskets, two of those by Jeremy Blake, one by Adam Wolf. Robinson with two players in double figure, leading scorer, from Kirk Lowry. Now freshman <laughs> off the bench with 12 points, doing? two uh, pair of threes and two for four from the line. Ten points for Jeff McKeegan, Wade Scheimer with three, four points for Jared Whipke. Uh, Zach Steele with four, 
Uh, Justin Hartrick with only two. Mickey Walton with three. One point for Sean Homer. Six for 15 from the line. Maroon's shot tonight. Three three-point baskets, two by Lowry, one by Scheimer. Rebounding uh, was <clears throat> wasn't a contest. Newton with 31, Robinson only 18. That's the lowest total of rebounds I think we've ever seen by Robinson. Turnovers, Newton with 11, and Robinson with 20. So it's 84-39 final. We'll see you in Palestine on Friday night. For Ron Wheeler, Dwayne Shaw, I'm Jim Kincaid.